is Jenna had a member request on how to turn an outline um, into a filled file. So let's go get this. Okay, we're going to open it because it's a workspace project file. And here it is. Okay, so if you're looking at this file, you may not be able to tell that this is not filled, but I can see because there's this uh, square around it. So the easiest way for you to tell is to click on it, come over here, click your fill, and fill it with any color. And color, remember, does not matter because the machine only reads the cut lines, okay? So again, there it is. That is not filled. That is hollow, all right? this we don't need to worry about he just wants this to be an actual cut file all right so what you need to do and this is for anything that happens like this what you need to do is put a solid shape of some sort underneath here and subtract okay so let's grab this okay now watch this I, I hope this does what I want it to now if I just do this highlight both Oops, don't grab the letters. Make sure I have both in here. And I come over here and I do my subtract, which is right down here. And they disappear. Oh, well, I know what happened. I know that that uh, solid shape was sitting on top. Okay. But in order to know that for sure, come in here and add your color. Okay, just take that extra second and let's add something different so you can see. Sure enough, so what we need to do is add this solid shape to the bottom. So come here to layers. Okay, and I, I know I only have this one highlighted because I went directly to it and I tapped on it. Okay, so let's collapse this group and let's click and I'm dragging it. I'm dragging it and I'm setting it to the top. So that brought that whole group, so this whole thing is grouped, it brought it to the top. And how I know this whole color is grouped, because when I click add color, every single one of them captured color. And I did not have to group them myself, it came already grouped, okay? So now I clicked off of it, okay? Because even though it looked like that, it's still not all selected. So I clicked off of it, I'm gonna click back on here, I'm going to come and select both of them. Oops, what am I doing? I'm going to brain fart. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click subtract. Now, I have my fully filled shape that I originally wanted. Okay, down here, oh, I didn't want that. Okay, so either you can double click. and you can click your delete your point okay or don't make your square so big the next time okay so what I can do is right here I can click undo undo come in here in my layer collapse your group because you don't need all this shape right here okay grab that little edge of it and collapse it Okay, if it's too big, if you notice those lines, instead of going through all that malarkey of trying to delete points, just make sure your shape is smaller. Okay, so then come up here. Oops, wrong one, Jen. I like both of them. Gosh darn it. This is different than sure cuts a lot, so that's why I'm always making mistakes on my... Okay, there you go. And always make sure your bounding box lies where you need it to. Okay, then to be sure that you don't have any extra points like this right here, I'm not sure that that is part of the file, but it could be, and it might just be an extra point that was hiding in there. If you don't like the way that looks, again, double click, and that'll bring up a million points. It takes a little while for workspace to process this sometimes you can come in here 
click on them and start to delete. And don't freak out when it looks like that because you can back those points right up in there. See, just like that. So there you go. That's your fully fixed file now and you're ready to export it. Um, this one, you just want to add color to it to make sure everything looks okay. Feel free to do that and it'll tell you where your closed lines are and things like that. Alright guys, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me um, either here on YouTube or over on my Facebook page at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help. There's a link in the description of this video that will take you directly there. Um, if you do apply, please answer the questions um, as that tells us a little bit about you. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Hopefully this video helps you.